everyone, I'm Lisa Cheplak, nutrition chef with Green Our Planet. I have a question for you. Do you have a dog? If not, do you like dogs? Do you know what makes a dog happy and healthy? Well, what do dogs need? Did you ever think about that? And do dogs need the same things that humans need? Is it good for a dog to stay inside all day and never go outside? No, dogs like to take walks, don't they? In fact, dogs love walks and they love to run around. That means they like to exercise. Do you know what exercise is? Exercise is when you run or jump, walk or play games. You stay healthy by exercising and keeping your body active. So dogs need exercise and that's why they need to get out of the house and go for walks. What else do dogs need? Did you say water? Yes, dogs need to drink water. What else do dogs need besides exercise and water? They also need to sleep, don't they? Have you ever seen a dog sleeping? Yes, of course. Do you know how long a dog needs to sleep to be healthy? 12 to 14 hours a day. Now there's one final thing dogs need. What is it? Did you say food? Well, you're right. Dogs need exercise, water, sleep, and food. If they have all of those things, then they'll be happy and healthy. But let me ask you this. Can you just feed a dog anything? Can dogs drink milk? No. What about jelly beans? Can dogs eat jelly beans? Definitely not. What about salads? Do dogs eat salads? I don't think so. Dogs like to eat dog food, which is a special food that makes them healthy and strong. Now what about people? Do people need exercise? Can we just sit on the couch all day and watch TV and never go outside and still be healthy? No, we can't. We need exercise just like dogs. Exercise makes us feel better and makes our bodies strong and healthy. How about water? Do we need water? Yes, we do. Do you know how much water you should drink every day? Well, for students your age, you should drink six to eight cups of water a day. I'm going to measure out eight cups of water so you can see how much water you should drink every day. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. The amount of water in this pitcher is how much water you should drink every day to stay happy and healthy. Now how about sleep? Do you stay up all night and never sleep? No, of course not. Your body needs sleep, and when it's time to sleep, your body tells you that you're sleepy. So do you know how much sleep you need every night to be healthy and strong? Well, if you're between the ages of five and 12, then you need 10 to 11 hours of sleep each night. Almost as much as a dog. 
So here's a fun fact. Do you know how many hours lions need to sleep every night? Do you have any idea? They need 18 to 20 hours of sleep a day. How amazing is that? Lions are hardly ever awake. I have another question for you. What kind of food do you like to eat? Do you eat dog food? No. What about cat food? Do you eat cat food? Of course not. Do you think this family is eating cat food? No, that would be crazy. Do you eat goldfish food? No, of course you don't. Dogs eat dog food, cats eat cat food, goldfish eat goldfish food, and we eat food meant for people. So what is the best kind of food for us to eat? Can we just eat any kind of food? Well, when you open the refrigerator, do you eat the first thing you see? No, of course not. You first look at the food you have and then you make choices about what to eat. Are all foods good for us? Are there foods that are good for us and foods that aren't good for us? Do you know? Well, different foods have different amounts of nutrients in them. Do you know what nutrients are? Nutrients are substances like vitamins and minerals that help make your body strong and help you grow. Some foods have very few, if any, nutrients in them, like donuts, potato chips, cookies, and candy. Those foods mostly have sugar and salt. Other foods, especially fruits and vegetables, have lots of nutrients in them. And do you know what happens if you eat foods that have lots of nutrients in them? Well, the nutrients help your body parts work better like your heart and your brain, your eyes and your muscles. So now let me ask you another question. Who chooses if a dog is gonna go out and take a walk? Does the dog choose? No, you do. Who chooses if a dog can eat or what a dog eats? Does the dog choose? No, you do. And who chooses if you go for a walk? You do. Who chooses if you ride a bike? You do. Who chooses what you eat? You do. What would make you the strongest and happiest? Sitting on the couch all day watching TV and eating candy? Or going outside to play with your dog or ride your bike? And eating an apple? What would be the best choice? Well, if you want to give your body exercise and food that has nutrients in it, then you would go outside with your dog and ride your bike and eat an apple. Now here's another choice for you. Are you ready? Should you stay up all night and not get any sleep and only eat chips and soda? Or should you get eight hours of sleep and drink plenty of water? What did you say? Well, you're right. If you want to grow up and be big and strong, then you need to get plenty of sleep and also drink six to eight cups of water a day. So now that you know that it's important to get plenty of rest, to drink plenty of water, to exercise and to eat good foods, let's plan the perfect healthy day for ourselves. First, after sleeping for eight hours, you get up, you drink some water and get ready for breakfast. Now what are you gonna to choose to eat for breakfast? A donut or oatmeal and fruit? Did you say oatmeal and fruit? That's right. 
That will help you start off your day with the nutrients your body needs. Now it's time for lunch, and here are your choices. Should you eat a bowl of candy or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some fresh fruit? Did you say the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and fruit? You're right. The sandwich is full of nutrients while the jelly beans are only full of sugar. Now here's one last choice for you. It's dinner time and you're hungry again. You can have a big bag of potato chips or you can have soup and a fresh salad. What would you choose? Well, it might be fun to eat the potato chips, but they're mostly fat and salt. Soup and salad are full of nutrients and they're also delicious. So that would be the best choice for you. Now one last question. When you give your dog a bag of dog food, does the dog eat the whole bag in one sitting? Or does he just eat a bowl of dog food? You're right, he just eats what he needs. He just eats a small bowl of dog food. Your dog only eats what it needs to eat, right? Well, how about you? When you eat turkey, do you eat the whole turkey? No, of course not. What about when you eat pizza? Do you eat the whole pizza? Do you eat three pizzas? No, that would make you sick. And when you have eggs for breakfast, do you eat a dozen? Two dozen? No, of course not. If you want to be healthy, you only take the portion of food for breakfast, lunch, or dinner that you need. If you eat too much, that can be unhealthy for you. So we never want to try to eat as much as we can. We just want to eat what we need. So when making a plan for the perfect healthy day for your body, we need to make choices. You need to make sure that you get the right amount of sleep, that you drink plenty of water, that you get exercise, and that you make good food choices. If you do all that, you'll be as strong as a lion and as healthy as a dog. I'm Lisa Chaplack, nutrition chef from Green Our Planet, and this is my dog Goldie and my son Luke. It's time for us to go on a walk now and get some exercise. We'll see you next time. Bye. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it, which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all of the life on it. Bye!